world's most useless inventions. I built a brand new invention that automatically scoops all of the peanut butter out of the peanut butter jar completely hands-free. See, that's not so even useless. So the device just spins around and around, and then it perfectly fits into the peanut butter jar. And it scrapes all of the edges until you have all of the last little bits of peanut butter out of the peanut butter jar. That's not even useless. This guy's whole TikTok channel is called Unnecessary Inventions. That's not even unnecessary. Like, that's actually useful. Because when the container is almost empty, I hate sticking a spoon or a knife or something inside and going like this because my hand gets all dirty and stuff. And that would, like, solve it and be 5 million trillion times better. This guy's a genius. What else does he have? The invention is called the smoke deflector for when things don't quite go right in the kitchen and you don't want to set the alarm off. All you got to do is magnetically attach it to the ceiling and then when your food starts smoking, the fan kicks in and it will blow all of the smoke away from your smoke detector and it will never beep again. Again, that's not useless or it's not unnecessary. That is totally necessary. I mean, I'm sure it's happened to you guys. Like your parents are cooking or something and all of a sudden, beep, 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 fire alarm is going off. It's not a fire, it's just the steam from cooking. So then when you're cooking and you know there's going to be lots of steam, you just put the device up there and you're good to go. But then make sure to take it off. Otherwise, that would not be good. Okay, we're going to see if this guy has anything that's actually unnecessary or if they're all like useful like that. Graham layout so much that I created this new case. It perfectly blocks the shop and reels tab so that I never accidentally tap them again. You might think this invention- Okay, sorry, I gotta pause or else he just keeps going. But like that one again, okay, it's kind of gimmicky. It's like a little, it doesn't look very professional. It's like, oh, you slide your phone in and it blocks it off. But hey, it does the job and you won't click the buttons. It does what it's supposed to do. It's not, again, it's not unnecessary. I mean, that one's more unnecessary because it's kind of like, just, just don't click the buttons. But then, hey, just don't make the smoke detector go off either. So hey, uh, it's, 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 that one's kind of on the edge there, but let's see, let's see. Mine looks like a completely normal necklace, but each one of these little pods was designed to perfectly hold a chicken nugget. Okay, so now, now this one. Chicken nuggets on the go. Is <laughs> unnecessary. Chicken nuggets on the go. Like if you were to wear this in public, I'm sure you'd get some pretty interesting looks. They'd be like, oh. What kind of new necklace is that? is that? Is that Gucci? Instead of doing this, you could literally just hold the chicken nugget box in your hand and eat them and then throw it out. Hey, but maybe you want that sick stylish necklace. And you also, no, I was going to say, but you don't have to carry the box around. You could do this hands free. But if you're eating them, which is the whole point of it, you have to grab it, open it up. So yeah, this one, this one's unnecessary. I am testing out one of my brand new unnecessary inventions out in public. Let me show you exactly what these things are. These are called the reverse phones. So speakers on the outside okay, and now complete that quiet is on unnecessary. the inside. You can also allow other people to <laughs> control the music what? if you just want to have a little peace and quiet. So today I'm going to let everyone else enjoy this music that I'm listening to. Okay, I guess he's being pretty generous. He's giving people free music and he's not getting anything for himself. He's a live human walking speaker. I built an iPhone case that allows you to take a mirror selfie absolutely anywhere. Anywhere, you look already. Take a mirror selfie anywhere. There's mirrors literally everywhere. You walk into the mall, you go to the bathroom, pull out your phone, snap the button, put it in your pocket, you're good to go. But no, you gotta carry this big thing around in your backpack. Oh, I need a quick mirror selfie. Let me just pull this out of my backpack. Boom, take off my, my case, put my case, my phone in the case, the case, case the phone and phone it up and then press the... How does that even work? You're not even going to be able to get your whole body in there. It's so close to it. All you'll see is like you'll be holding the mirror right here. It'll just be your face. That is unnecessary. To the case and you can start taking amazing mirror selfies. Amazing. And here's what it looks like when your phone yeah, is see? inside. Of you can't even see like your, your what, what pants you got on, man. That's the whole point of mirror selfies, right? You're supposed to get like your outfit of the day. Let me know, guys, if I should start doing outfit of the day mirror selfies on my YouTube story. <laughs> here's a quick outfit of the day right now. Boom. Plain black t-shirt, oversized, my protein short. No shoes, no socks, no service. The case and you're walking around taking a video, the selfie possibilities are truly endless. Oh, yeah. Or, hear me out. Hey guys, how's it going? I got this new invention. It's called holding a phone with your hand. Invention of mine, the good enough ruler. The good enough For ruler. For when you don't what? need to actually know how long something is, just eh, good enough. So like this plant I have over here, it's about the size of a TV remote. This one 3D what? printer, it's right around the size of a forearm. And what do you know, this hammer 
is right around the size of a hammer. Watch you look at that? Yeah, I have no clue where this would come in handy. Like, this is unnecessary. You would never use this. Like, if you want to measure something, I'm sure you would want the actual measurements. Like, look at this hammer is the size of a hammer. No, like, what, what's the size? Like, how many inches? Okay, so I think I invented the easiest way to sneak a snack on a Zoom call. You know how you sneak a snack on a Zoom call? You just keep the drink or the snack out of the camera. Watch this, guys. I bet you guys didn't know. I have a water. Oh my gosh. Guess what else, guys, I have? Speaking of the last one, I have a tape measure. Believe it or not, I also have a mouth. So watch. I could take a sip of this water bottle right now, and you guys would not even know. Hey, sorry, guys. I just need to stretch quickly. This one, the sneaky smoothie holder. Well, All you gotta do is slide it onto your wrist. Work? Do it both of the Velcro straps so it doesn't go anywhere. Then grab your noose of smoothie and snap it right in. Throw on a sweater so you can easily conceal it. Put in a straw, and now you can enjoy a snack, and no one on the Zoom call will have oh, any yeah. idea. Not a single clue. They will not be able to see that whatsoever. You could do the same thing with just a hoodie. Like, you have your hoodie on, and you put it in. I mean, I guess it's more stable if you have the little device there. But, oh, yeah, nobody will suspect a thing, guys, if you use this. My brand new unnecessary invention is the Yoguzi, the easiest way to enjoy yogurt in a jacuzzi. All you have to do is blow it up until it's smart. fully inflated. Go ahead and toss it in the tub. Slide your yogurt right in the middle console and then let it go for a ride. And at that. any point, you can go down and soak some delicious yogurt. That was a good one. New way to blow out birthday candles. All you have to do is slide your fingers into here, pull on the elastic back, and when you let go, it shoots air directly at your birthday candles. So you go around, get all the candles out, and now you won't be spitting all over your cake. Okay, I was about to say, like, but like, what's what's the point? Can't you just go? But then you don't spit on the cake and get your germs everywhere for everybody else who's gonna eat the cake. That's genius. I designed a drinking glass that's also an alarm clock. You fill it up to the top. Oh. Then at night when you're heading to bed, wait, you no, put never it mind. Down. I thought it was gonna be it notifies you when you're supposed to drink, so you like drink enough water in the during the day. There are things that actually do that. My mom has one of those. It lights up and gives you a notification on your phone reminding you to drink. I mean, she she doesn't need a reminder to drink, guys. It's just, maybe she does, I don't know. Maybe she maybe she forgets. I, I actually bought that for her, guys. So I guess she has to use it, right? Or else that would be that would be rude. Maybe she doesn't use it anymore. Since I don't live with them anymore, maybe she's like, oh, Luke's not here to make sure I use the water bottle that he got me. Now she's going to text me after she watches this video. Don't worry, Luke, I still use the water bottle. Thank you, buddy. Night stand, head to sleep, and when you wake up in the middle of the night, you know exactly what time it is, and you can finally quench that undying thirst of yours. Or you could get another water bottle. Not sponsored by Dasani. I just like Dasani. I don't know why. Put it beside your phone because you already have a Actually, no, not everybody has a phone. But, uh, okay, I'm sure you have some sort of clock in your bedroom, or else how do you know, like, when to wake up? Put the water beside it, and you got this invention made already for free. I don't even know if you could buy these inventions, but yeah. <laughs> how to snack from a far distance. Looks like dog food. That, that does not work. The weight of the food would, like... Pfft. It must work. It's working in the video. How is the food not flying out, though? Oh, there it goes. How the heck does he even film that? Does he just grab his phone and... <laughs> I don't know. I invented the easiest way to make avocado toast. Meet the avocado on a stick. This and then handy you little container it. features fresh mashed avocado. And you can twist this little knob that just to looks reveal disgusting. a little bit more avocado. Then you just grab a piece because of toast it's like deodorant. and spread on your avocado. But it just looks wrong. The fastest avocado toast ever. I invented Doesn't the look easiest like way like to decide actually. what to watch on any streaming service. Oh, yeah? Each set of streaming roulette dice come with four dice. One dice to tell you what service to watch. Holy, one this guy's got every service. A TV or a movie. But if you only have one, though, I guess you don't use that one. And then the I'll final use the other one dice. decides which one in that category you're going to watch. Then you just roll the dice. Let's see what he gets. So we are going to Netflix. We're watching a TV show in the crime category and the fifth option. What Netflix, is it gonna be? TV show. Vintage crime was the first one that showed up. So one, two, three, four. Looks like I am watching Manhunt Man Unabomber. I bet he didn't watch it. Instead of a spoon, I what decided is this to make a bowl that makes sure your cereal fruit never though. gets too soggy in the milk. What? When you push the That's my favorite part. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I I haven't had cereal in a long time, but whenever I have cereal, I literally grab my spoon and push it to the bottom so it gets wet and gets soggy before it's. Time for me to eat it. I like it soggy. This button over here 
it but I guess this is good if you don't like a little bit soggy. of cereal from the top into the milk. And here's what it looks like with no cereal inside. So watch it spin and spin. Cereal? And now you can control exactly how, how long much your cereal spins. Is it cereal or cereal? Maybe Brand it's a Canadian thing that I say cereal. Is that a flip flop? Yeah, sandals. The only yeah, sandals sandal. designed specifically for you to use your leg no as a selfie way. stick. No way. All you have to do is put your phone in the top, set the timer, and throw your legs up in the air to get the perfect self portrait. The selfie sandals are the selfie stick reinvented for the year 2020. What do you think of this invention? I mean, then you don't have a long pole in it, but you have your foot up and people are like, what kind of pose is that? New, new, is that the new in pose? So people kept saying that my inventions were getting way too necessary. So I now have my most unnecessary invention that, that looks I've like it ever goes created. Your knee. So you use this invention inside of your car and then you just slide the invention onto your thigh. Put your phone inside of here. And now you can use your phone at the perfect angle while you drive. It would be useful or not unnecessary, but you guys shouldn't be on your phone while you're driving. So it becomes unnecessary. Okay, guys, lessons from Luke. Don't go on your phone while you're driving. If your eyes aren't on the road, then whose are? But anyway, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to slap that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.